All right. Well, welcome to the February 15th edition of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group for Chaos. I'm facilitating M. Shaw. And here is the agenda. So if you have a minute, go ahead and put your name in. Can I just say that Here's staring that. out my front window is like my favorite thing in the world? <laughs> like I have, I have a white window right here and I just, yeah, I'll just look out there. I see my birds, I see the critters. Like I get it, I get it, Matt. I eat Cheetos and just, I might feel like I'm like <laughs> becoming that weird neighborhood guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I look out my windows, but I have to look to the side to do it. I can't do it. I can't like do the fake out. I'm like I'm looking at this and then look outside. So um, I think usually we try to pick a facilitator for next time at the beginning. So anybody want to facilitate next week? All right, I'll leave that for the end. So, I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. Okay. And um, so you're adding new three new metrics to the badging. So who wants I, to talk about this? Yeah, I can speak to that. So I just want to make sure everybody knows. <clears throat> I think we were mostly all on the DEI badging meeting this morning where we talked about this, but I did want to bring it to this group as well. Um, we are adding these three new metrics, event accessibility, event public health and safety, and event location inclusivity um, to the badging application. So that will be, they'll have more things they have to do. And with regard to the public health and safety, um, this is a joint effort with the public health pledge folks who are also doing badging. Um, their badging works a little differently than ours where they have five categories and then underneath, so they can actually get like five different badges. They have like different levels that they get for each thing. It's mostly around um, things like what are their masking policies, what are their vaccination policies at events, what are, you know, how do they um, share that information with attendees so they can decide whether or not they feel safe enough to attend this this conference if they're you know high risk um, so we are not aiming to duplicate efforts so for our purposes we do have a metric that we were developing and we'll release it but for the purposes of the badging application it will just be one line to say have you gone through this other badging process if so let us know what kind of badges you got like uh, just a url to the place where they display that on their website so um, it, will, it will be just one check that they will get or not get but really we wanna just kind of point people towards that initiative and give them some more visibility as well. And then event location inclusivity uh, is also another one. It just needs to have some tweaking done to it. It's pretty far along. Um, a few folks in this meeting had worked on that um, back in the day, like a year, a year ago or so, even more. So we just wanna bring that across the finish line and add that to the, the application. And that looks at things that like, what are the, um, you know, what are the local laws and if they're, you know, friendly to like LGBTQ folks, for instance, and things like that. So yeah. that's what that metric is about. So I'm not coming to Florida for a conference. I think there's going to be Well, yeah, I mean, I know <laughs> that, <laughs> right. Honestly, like in North Carolina, you know, they have um, some, some strict laws and stuff. So with like regard to like gender neutral bathrooms and, and such. So not that a, a conference has control over what laws they are, you know, are in the place where they are, but um, just like letting the attendees know ahead of time, like here are some things that you might want to keep in consider in, you know, take into consideration before attending this conference, like mm -hmm. the real the reality of it. So um, I think that is something that we're hoping that event organizers at least keep top of mind if they can't control where they go for whatever reason, they can at least share that information with attendees so they can make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's it. All right, thank you. Any any discussion about those things or any questions? Anyone? Uh, I know that Elizabeth has reached out to some of the event applicants in the past, just to let them know that these three are gonna be happening. So I think that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I do think there's a longer arc with 
these three metrics as well. So for this round, we're looking just to include them mm -hmm. as part of the percentage of metrics attended to as a representation of gold, silver, and so on. Um, but I do think in future rounds, we're looking at making one of these, maybe just one, kind of a mandatory for a gold badge. Yeah, I think we're going to start with them. It, when we get to that point of having that bot capability to do that mandatory yep. check, um, I think the first one we're going to do is code of conduct, because that just okay. seems like low hanging fruit. And so in other words, if someone applies for a badge and they have every other box checked, they and they do not have code of conduct checked, they cannot get a gold badge, like regardless of percent. Because um, we feel like that's just like you you have to have that. Yeah, <laughs> like that's I, like a yeah. you know a requirement. So um, so that will be our first one, and then we do plan on adding in um, potentially the this public health and safety that you know you do have to go ch check these things. And uh, what was was I think the third one might have been event accessibility as well. Like you have to attend to these things if you're going to get that gold badge. Like it's. You know, you're up here, and so you have to kind of make that extra effort to this get to that. It's basic in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Is gold, is gold the entry badge or the highest badge? Gold is the highest. Okay, because I get so. I get confused because gold is the lowest level of airplane loyalty. Um, <laughs> so, airplane <it's> marketing, <laughs> Sean. They don't want to call anybody a bronze. That everyone's a gold to them. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's really confusing how gold is sometimes not the number one thing so it is you're right maybe we should maybe we should redo our, our uh... no i'm not suggesting <laughs> that either right it's just uh i don't always know what gold means in a particular context off the top of my head yeah so gold is the highest in ours so yeah if you're at that level then you know you're you're you know you need to be doing a lot so mm -hmm. yeah then uh so any other discussion about this um i think that this makes a lot of sense. I've seen some good discussions on our discourse um, board, which uh, if you're not on it, I just started making myself be on it. Is it this? Is this the link? What is it? Yes, that. Dog group. Dog group. Yeah. I'll just throw that in the, in the meeting minutes here. Thank you. Uh, because we want people to use that. It's um, discussion rules. I'll just make that, make that note. And um, new badger orientation seems to be the next thing. Uh, yeah, I can speak to that also. <laughs> Sorry to make this the whole badging uh, meeting, but. Um, a couple of things with the badgers, and I see um, delights on here as well. So we're trying to do kind of a reset with our badgers. Um, so there is an issue out on the badging repo that if you are a badger, please go check that issue. Um, we want to do a couple of things. We want to do, like I said, do a reset. So if you've been a badger that has backed backed away for a while and you want to be more active, this is your chance to do so and vice versa if you would rather kind of step back a little. Um, we also want to, I think we're missing some contact information for some of our badgers, and we're going to try to get, um, I should have mentioned this in the last meeting, but um, we're going to try to do uh, maybe a monthly, just check in, like not a big deal, maybe a half an hour, um, and also make sure that people are connected to chaos, because when we do have these changes to badging, um, we don't have right now a good way to bring everybody together, make sure everybody knows, and and knows how to apply or um, apply those changes, I mean, or, you know, like how that affects them as a badger. So in the past, we've had to just do it in an issue on the repo. Thank you, Delight. Um, and I just don't know if everybody's seeing that, you know, because people miss notifications and we don't have contact information for some of our badgers. So we're just trying to like reorg and get everybody together and get us all on the same page and just have a regular check in with all our badgers. To make sure. I mean, we do have Slack. We do also have a signal group, but it feels a little disjointed and I don't have a good confidence that we're reaching all the badgers to get them the information that they need and make sure they're doing okay and like they have questions and stuff like that. Yeah. So yes, so we have a new badger orientation too on March 15th and we're just going to do it. We're going to do that badging meeting in half. So we'll 
do the like, kind of like we do the community meetings where we have when we have to play in chaos con we do half the meeting regular and then the second half of the meeting we just reserve for that so Phew, sorry, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. I mean, I, that was more that was that, uh, agenda item than I anticipated. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have mentioned all that in the last meeting. I totally forgot to do that, so sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, good to have the updates. So, is there anything else that we need to talk about? Because the agenda appears to be complete. Well, maybe we could take a look at the metrics really fast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I would say this is one of the groups that has a ton of metrics in progress or ideas mm -hmm. for metrics and has not been able to, you know, push it mm -hmm. over the line. So, so, so one, can you scroll I down? I can. Scroll, so have far scroll to go. down a little bit. So, Elizabeth, we have one <clears throat> newcomer experience. That's is this review. out? I don't know. It's, Let me check. Okay. It is, yeah, it's, um, it looks like it ought to have been released, but I suppose we don't. Maybe we just didn't update the spreadsheet that Elizabeth is trying. Right. So we've talked about it recently based on the last review date. It is, not, it is not on the website. Okay, so. Um, What's our next release? If uh, we just kind of do rolling releases now, and then we like twice a year, we'll just say, hey, these are the the most like recent metrics that were published in the last six months. Okay. We've, we've quit the regular six month cadence. Nice. I'm not yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I've always, I've always kind of wanted the rolling releases. So I'm glad to see that making a return. Well, we had rolling and six month cadence releases for a while. I remember and that. Yeah. And we got rid of rolling. Just, and so. I was like, okay. No, no, no. We we always had that. Okay. So, any, um, can you scroll to column G? Yeah. Can you click on the newcomer experience under? Yeah, that one. Boom. So I think this is ready to go. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Sean, can you can you click on that issue? I want to make sure it didn't get closed. It did not. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Can you just tag me Oops. in that at the bottom on the, of yeah. that issue? Just okay, like, yeah, sure. Just mention me so it pops up on my... Oh, I'm just Elizabeth N. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. No problem. Oh, okay. You mentioned the issue somewhere else. I saw the closed thing and I got confused. <clears throat> so do we want to look at this together at all? Or do we want to, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. No, I mean, it's out or it's, I think it's done. I think it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess maybe we can go back to the spreadsheet real fast. Yep. Or slow. I don't care. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go so just scroll to the column A. Um, change the status. Yeah, so just um, I changed it to ready. Okay. But I'm just I'm I'm wondering like of the in progress ones right now. We have in row twenty two we have event location inclusivity which is what was talked about earlier, row 22. And so that's in progress. Um, public yeah. health and safety is, oh, go ahead. I was gonna just, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could work on one or more of these if you want. And then event, I'm just, I'm kind of just talking out loud here. Like, is there anything, I'm thinking Elizabeth, like on the horizon, like, Rows 22 and 23 are certainly in progress at the moment, based on the conversations we're having right now. So row 21, what no is? No idea. Okay, can we click on 21, like go over to column, whatever. G, G, and see what's the... Or go to, yeah, just go to that column, F, yeah. Take a look at what that is.
put it in the chat in case anybody needs to click it themselves. So I'm wondering, just looking at this, I hadn't looked at it. I mean, should this be text we include with inclusivity? We have event locations and event location inclusivity. Some of the narrative here certainly looks like it's mostly related to inclusivity. Like, um, this is well, look at there. I, look, I worked on this. I don't, I don't remember working on this Good at job. all. <laughs> Excellent work. <laughs> you're the only yeah. one. There's only one person to. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's others. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're on there too. So. <laughs> I think this was more a little more, a, a little less about the environment in which mm -hmm. events happen, but more so about just plain old where they happen. Okay. So if we want to keep them separate, that's also valid or combine them. I don't, I don't know. Well, maybe, okay. So then, um, Let me go back here and look at this one. Okay. Put that in the chat as well. And you want to look at. We have event location. So does the event location inclusivity it like focuses on the location where the event is, not the event itself? Correct. It it focuses on the the environment of the location. So not even just like plain old where it is, like globally, is it easy to get to from the airport, for instance, like yeah. that kind of stuff. It's more about the environment and around the safety that um, attendees may or may not feel by attending right okay yeah this does feel distinct from the other one as i read the description okay because it's definitely it's i mean i this is like the florida metric like you know don't plan your conferences in places that aren't welcoming <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so maybe could you go back to the spreadsheet then sean That's, i'm fine with that so let's scroll down. Yeah, go over and let's go to take a look at yeah, foundation staff diversity and equity and trust with a dollar sign. Yeah, it's uh, clever. Put in that in chat as well. This seems like understand whether or not a project is set up for inclusive governance. I mean, don't we have a inclusive leadership metric? You do. Already? You do. Would that? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. We should make our dogs apologize. <laughs> Why the they can just kind of like be cute on the thing, but then yeah. <laughs> Come say hi. You don't have to be all aggressive about it. <laughs> yeah, so I need a polite little shih tzu like I have. Just you hear him like his short little legs walking into the room and just looks at me if he wants something. He only barks at strangers who approach the house. He's not alone. <laughs> um I mean, how are we feeling about this one? Is I think I want to look at Elizabeth's suggestion, inclusive leadership, and see to what extent this may already be covered, or this could perhaps be an addition to inclusive leadership. <clears throat> um, you go back to the spreadsheet and yep. get it right yeah. there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that highlighting on my screen is showing up. Badly. That's how it is on the green. It just yeah. looks bad. I go back and look at equity and trust and try to I can't I can't tell yeah I mean that's fine one. um
Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure that so, I necessarily see the alignment between the title no. and what things like the objectives are. Equity and trust is like trying to bigger. Merge. Yeah, no, it definitely, exclude, it definitely extends beyond inclusive leadership. Well, this um, looks like it, at least under the objectives, it looks mm -hmm. like it's defining like how we, things like in the handbook, like right. do we make our decision making process clear? Right. So if you scroll down, it looks like this came from a metrics model. So that might be a little more context about where this was coming from. Oh, this no. is kind of, I don't remember this at all. No, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't either. Um, oh, geez, this is over a year old. This is from when we first started discussing metrics models. And I think there's some actually some good ideas here that have been incorporated into metrics models that have actually been released. Um, there was a pretty good uh, collection of people working on this. And to be fair, I don't remember yeah. working on this. Like another, it's another one I don't remember working. Yeah, on. I actually remember it. And I'm not, <laughs> I do remember this. I mean, obviously, I made comments. So maybe we should take this conversation and move it to metrics models and see if this is still something that yeah needs to be developed separately from inclusive leadership i don't know what do y'all think yeah i think metrics I'm models should circle back around this and then also the metric the equity and trust well, sustainability so did the i'm wondering if this was like the equity is equity and trust in this. Can you do a search on equity and trust real fast or just equity? Yeah. Yeah, it's listed or, as a metric down below. Is it, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm spending I'm no right there. Oh, go back up. Go back up a little, a little more, a little more, a little more. Right there. Yeah. Um, I guess it's so this is the result of that. Like we, this was like a brainstorming yes. session is what it looks like. Yep. around a metric model called sustainability and okay and then obviously all like we need this model or i'm sorry we need this metric or the model yeah we're thinking but it, we may have uh, changed yeah. our mind on that yeah i'm not and I don't sustainability have... go ahead no I, I was just i'm digging up the metrics model agenda so I can put this on it. There's nothing there's nothing in the metrics model spreadsheet called sustainability. Okay. So do we close I mean I guess the question is do we close the loop on this discussion here or do we punt it back to the metric model group to close the loop? Um, I'm gonna add um, a row Oops, in the metrics model tab in the spreadsheet. Okay. To include I'm just gonna that. Add. I'll call that considering. And my remarks will be discovered during our DEI call. <laughs> And then okay. so I've added the uh... Just adding these ones over here. Okay, I've added it to the spreadsheet. Yeah, I just, add, spreadsheet, yeah, I just yeah. added it to the agenda for the next meeting, so I can take 
get closed out. All right, anything else on the spreadsheet? Should we go through a few more? Maybe we should mark that back to considering the equity and trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Considering. Something up there. Do you want to look at foundation staff diversity while we're here, Matt? Yeah, I mean, this is a, I'd love to, I love cleaning these things up here to, to the, and like discovering things like a yeah. metric model that didn't have a home anywhere. I guess that happens. So foundation staff diversity, I mean, in our case, this would be, I guess, the diversity of the Linux Foundation. Yeah, in, in the case of our project, I think that's what it sounds like. That's a pretty broad metric. It certainly is. Yeah. It's not it's, one yeah, it's, how we would measure it either, honestly, because we don't have access to those kinds of personnel records. You'd probably just have to go to the website and take a look at the, the board. Yeah. But like even, <laughs> yeah, it could be many layers away. So for example, you could be a project in CNCF and so then do you go to CNCF, which is a this whole foundation within foundations thing? Yeah, no, the Linux Foundation's got those foundations within foundations to an extraordinary degree. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not maybe thrilled about this metric just because it does seem really removed I mean, from my, the project. My, yeah, my my concern is it's it's um it's hard to, I think it's going to be hard to measure. Um, again, especially yeah, when you're look, talking about these nested foundations. Yeah, and if you look down at the data collection, like literally it's like look at the web page. And that's, that's not a great way to observe diversity, I don't think. It's not, I agree. It is not. applicable on a variety mm -hmm. of levels. So, um, yeah, I don't, this seems more of like, a discussion and i don't know who yeah. initiated it there's actually no i mean matt was the last one to edit it again 10 months ago so this might be one that we put back to considering at least at this stage that's yeah. fine I'm fine. Or, or we can like you know, we can go farther and just you know. consider the considering is kind of like just purgatory yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep scrolling down. All right, um, 52 through 54. Okay, so I, these have gotten some attention, I feel like, over time. I do too. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I remember this was a, a, a conversation about. Hey, doggy. Uh, <laughs> sorry, they're they're chopping up a tree. It's totally, that well. it's totally fine. So we're here also chainsaws, of course. Why not? Um, anyway, I think we had this conversation about the difference between this and contribution attribution. Yes. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah. I do. So this is more yeah. about like visibility of and appreciation as opposed to just flat out attributing. Okay. My quick scan I, I, this is close to completion. Yeah, this is the, agreed without looking at the text in too much detail. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could take that um, and just put it on the agenda with an action item. I can take a look at this. Sorry, I have to find the. There we go. That's the metric models. 
just keep clicking. No? Yeah, I don't know where. <laughs> I got too many tabs open right now is the problem. All right, here we go. Hey, good job. So, yeah, maybe there. No. Oh, I was just going to say. Um, no, you're in the wrong week. I wrong think. Day, week. Oh, you're right. I am. I get there. No. Sean, you're fired. As a oh, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, you have to let me go. Appreciating contributors. But I could take a look at that before next week. Okay. Just because that would be nice to move to. Something other than in progress. All right, and then we go back to attention to colorblindness, code of conduct enforcement. I don't know if those are. So that the colorblindness, I feel like we moved that to event accessibility. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. Okay, so this got moved to event accessibility. But maybe there, do we have a project accessibility? Maybe we put it in there because this seems more projecty. I don't know. But it does seem, even if we don't. So we have document accessibility. We don't. This is. I mean, it makes me think we should, without like creating more work, but like have a project or, accessibility metric that says or, here are some. Or maybe that's a model because we do have like documentation accessibility. We could put event accessibility in there and then design accessibility oh, or colorblind. Yeah, just like general accessibility as a model. For the whole project, yeah. So that's good. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be also good for badging later, project badging later. Just yeah, throwing that out there. Put that in the metric models as well. Like I would be interested in working on that. Okay. We'll just call it project accessibility for the yeah. time being. Yep. You want that action item? Sure. All right, I put that in the metrics model spreadsheet. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to just Put color blindness in here. But then that would kind of yeah imply that maybe we should finalize color blindness. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Well, because then yeah. would... so the way I look at it model. is color blindness triggered this topic. I mean, still may or may not yeah. include it, right? Yeah, I mean, yes. That would be, I guess, the decision of the model working group. Okay. Right. Um, code of conduct enforcement. So you recall working on that. We don't know. Didn't recall where we left it. Looks like a not a lot. Maybe there's Simple more than objectives. I thought. It's like a lot. <laughs> As you said, the sample objectives are simply too much.
this there's a lot it's a, a lot of just like points like a big list yeah so again this one we haven't worked on in 10 months so we put it back to the earlier status. i'm okay with leaving it in progress i think this is a okay. good one probably one we should finalize at some point but maybe it ends up being kind of like the public health one and the event accessibility one where it's like here are all the things you could be doing mm -hmm. if this you know like i don't know and training and all of that stuff like the extent to which a project does this thing yes this thing meaning code of conduct enforcement yeah, yeah. All right. The last two have always been listening and speaking. Yeah, a little those vague are, to me. Those are overwhelmingly general. And I feel like these have been around for a long time. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> It was last worked on uh, over over a year ago, and it was conceived, um, golly, uh, over four years ago. So I just don't feel like they're getting much traction. No, I think listening and speaking are such general <laughs> words that you know metricing them is a little bit outrageous in some sense. Yeah, I'm not even really sure what they mean by listening. Like, yeah. If you sure. go down, there are things like, are there, like, do people re respond to like at messages uh, or something like? Yeah. Well, I feel like this then has been covered in other stuff, like time yeah. to first response and I do too. Mm -hmm. all that stuff. I mean, I feel I feel like there are a number of other metrics that are more specific and measurable than listening and speaking. Well, and then the speaking one, if you go to so listening, I, yeah, I think we have this covered other places. The, the speaking one, so like to me, I feel like this is around um, like different languages and localization. This is literally, there is nothing in here. This is the template other than the word speaking. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's a question. Here. There's the the question is the uh, only thing there. Okay. Well, maybe we maybe we make this a communication accessibility metric, and th and do address things like closed captioning, translations. Yep. All that. That seems more like more sensible than. Mm -hmm. So, would you call speaking. it communication accessibility? I think. And we could lump that then in with the project accessibility metric model. Yes. And that would change if it back in the spreadsheet, then that would change. Um, there is like row 71 currently says captioning. Like we could probably get rid of that row then yeah. and just include captioning it in this. Because mm -hmm. yeah. captioning helps a variety of folks. So, yeah. And we have technical jargon as another row. It could be something that we include here. Yes, definitely. Although that might already be covered in documentation accessibility or documentation yeah. inclusivity. One of those two. Okay. All right. 
and change that and then this simply change the spreadsheet. So speaking is changed. Okay, so and then that's changed to communication accessibility. Yeah, I think you have to delete it and then re. No, just so if I put the link in. Is that all? I have yeah, to it'll give you the option to add oh. the chip. So if you click, yeah, there you go. Nope, just delete that. Okay. All right. And then click somewhere else for a time being. Nope. So anywhere else? Um, I'll do it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting <laughs> pop up. I'm not getting any any signal here. It's a little time. tiny thing at the bottom of that pop up. You have to scroll down on that pop up, and it'll okay. tell you. I don't even know how I ultimately make. Scroll down. Like scroll down inside that little tiny pop-up. That little yeah. rectangle. There you go. There you go, Chip. Oh my there God, go. that is so obscure. <laughs> <laughs> like who scrolls down in a pop-up? Let me ask that question. I guess you and Matt do. Yeah. <laughs> I only do because Matt showed me. That's yeah. okay. it's, pretty, it's actually a pretty cool feature. They should foreground that more so that I had some free time out. one day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see how, how we so do then what I'm going to do is I just in the remarks I put language, mm -hmm. closed captioning, jargon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove jargon and captioning. Okay. And then we only have three minutes, but this has actually been super helpful. Yeah. Oh, I think it's, it was a list of use of time for sure. All right. So then the last focus area. Social value or environment. Yeah. Like I like I don't like I'm, there's a lot I'm, there's a lot here that's I'm not been all built. for all these things but I don't know how you measure it and and it maybe it, it turns all into being again a, one of those to what extent does the project focus on these things you just know? a scope just a scope mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. I mean I think there are like with health and mental well being, we've developed some metrics recently that I can get at that. I think because it, it speaks to the purpose of the open source project, which is like a really hard thing to measure and to to grasp. So, yeah, I don't know. When we do have as a model, we have safety. This is one that we have. Like if you're talking about health and well being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have psychological safety. And yeah, to me though, that that's more about the internal workings of the project, like how safe people feel contributing. Whereas I think this is more of like external. So like, is this an open source project that brings medical supplies or or connects people with like how to where to get a vaccine, for instance? Like that's I think like was the, the, like I suppose if it's under societal value. Yes. Right. Like, what is this project giving back to society in general mm -hmm. with its I code? Gotcha and the way it works or like is it like a list of gender neutral restrooms because there is an open source project that is like that and people contribute if they see one in the wild then they contribute and here's a long list so you know it improves for you know people who are looking for those so yeah. just that's just an example but i think that that was the inspiration for this whole group because it all came from the value group so maybe mm -hmm. yeah we just lump it all into one i don't know so I think just maybe called societal value. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I mean, to your point, I just don't see us really building these metrics, kind of knowing how we work as a project. Yeah, and like to be fair, it seems like most open source projects would, if they're doing something for societal value, they're doing one of those things. They're not mm -hmm. trying to do all of them. So it's like hard to measure it's more of just like categorizing them you know it'd be right. the same as like okay is this open source project a library or is it you know an app a standalone code is it a website like 
it's just one more category of like what is the purpose of this this open source project and the purpose would be social impact or societal value so yeah Which i don't know that by the project yeah yeah so and, and again it would just be like one of those those things it would like improve access or improve health or improve you know not all of those things whereas like an event accessibility you can do all of the things on the list mm -hmm. right exactly yeah these just seem a bit out of band to your yeah. listening to your talk elizabeth with <laughs> what our other metrics are yeah um and, and two like i was going to say if, if our model is you know that that move help people move off zero like geez like geez louise <laughs> That's really big. Well, and I'm not, I'm trying to think of like, what does that do for community health? Like it, like, are you, are they saying, are, are we saying that if, if a project fits into one of these categories, then it's healthier, like that doesn't necessarily equate. True. Yep. So I'm not really sure how this even relates to open source community health. I'm not sure. So I, I put some things in notes, I'm trying to capture okay. this discussion. Once I'm kind of inclined to not include them in our work. It just yeah. I, I think I think the suggestion of developing a metrics model with you know, some 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 relationship to societal value as a concept seems worthwhile, but I don't know that any of these proposed metrics under this category would actually land in that metrics model. I think we can probably build it from. Things we've already well, then used. we have to like use existing metrics, right? Right, right. The, but I, I think we right. have a lot of them. So can we just take these out of here? Yeah. And maybe just add a, a pointer or add a something in the metrics models, no. just as like a reminder, if we want. Yeah, I can add a, a row in models, but I think we should from seventy to eighty-three. Like, yep. I'm just capturing that we've removed it. Um, Matt, I trust you'll do that. I can because we're out of time. Somebody can. I'm just I'm just adding it to the models. All right. Okay. I at least added it to the model spreadsheet. Excellent. I feel bad removing them, but <laughs> no, I know, but it just doesn't quite doesn't quite fit with what yeah. we're trying to do. I mean, I think that you know they're not. Your concepts there it's very high level again it's none of them were terribly measurable and we can always you know revisit that we can always add them back in if we figure out a way to do it well mm -hmm. I agree okay all right so I'm gonna facilitate us to the end here